this is my final review on the two fishing poles uh, and on the on the fishing rod guides I received that I received the day before yesterday on Friday however as I stated yesterday I would not pick this up because I was angry simply I was angry that there is no normal ability to to relate to to these issues and uh, communicate as uh, job requires you to at least ring the bell from the from the house and talk to the person something however they insisted me they would do whenever there will be psychiatric letters to sign for so this is not a coincidence that nobody ring the ring from the house but it's been reserved for other part of abuse um, let's do the final part of this review here uh, one fishing pole is not catastrophical but it contains a very very important both uh, fishing poles are really really very very important for me in the fishing guides it's a little bit difficult uh, to immediately go about these memories because uh, fishing pole guides this here from Robert Golob is tracing all the way to year 2005 I will explain to you the little dot that is it looks like a scratch uh, it's actually like a bump uh, that stuff was interpreted to me through the traumatization it was used for the traumatization time and again by Robert Golob uh, who went on to demonstrate me how it all started and then he went obviously with a knife and smashed the whole fucking thing into bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger crack and had me that watch during the fishing while guaranteed me that I am gonna go through that kind of stuff um, I am gonna keep this one here I'm gonna keep this uh, rod guide uh, it's nasty because it takes time to properly it's a lot of work you know to put this properly on a fishing rod the way I do the stuff is really professional and it takes it's a damage the biggest damage that's been done is that you have to install this stuff on the fishing rod and what that means is that if you want to have immaculate fishing rod and stuff then you just have to go and do it again you know what I mean so it's a nasty stuff really let's go and I will review now the two things the first thing I'm going to do are the fishing poles police was looking for the proofs about again when I say they were looking for the proofs they were looking for the proofs to prove me that I'm a schizophrenic just as the telephone I'm recording with was a telephone I was promised it's going to have a battery that is going to inflate itself um, they were always looking for the pieces in a merchandise that will be with defects they were always looking for the factory uh, mistakes for the factory uh, whatever they would be in a certain production of a certain item they would find the irregularities they would pick up from the irregularities and that's why they also connected themselves to the Chinese manufacturers uh, Slovens had factories also in China and also to Chinese Aliexpress, Alibaba, eBay these are all the same anyways sellers and so the review on the fishing rod starts with what I suggested already at the beginning uh, this belonged to the Berger Miroslav Alex Berger, Berger Miroslav talking about this uh, how you say this pouches for the fishing poles they fit exactly the description of uh, Miroslav Berger, of Alex Berger, who even opened a private school here in Kirka village for the people from the Blue Lagoon. It was this psychiatrist, Tatiana Proksha, that would have her friends that, that would walk from the city here to our house 
And they opened a private school, literally, for these people to learn fishing. It started, this crime started sometimes in 1999. Literally, stuff I'm talking about. And with this type of schooling teaching, they started also to tutor uh, people from the city about uh, cheap fishing poles and cheap fishing equipment they can buy from AliExpress, from eBay. Uh, and AliExpress did not exist there back then, but uh, Alibaba probably did. And this is how it all started. This is what I witnessed when I was hijacked, abducted to Slovenia. Basically, right here in front of the house is the stuff that went on. And then I was promised all kinds of issues uh, that included, when it comes to this fishing rods, I was very, very detailed about it. Um, but not detailed enough, not detailed enough. And so I'm going to try to compensate for... Uh, for whatever I was not detailed enough about. This is just a quick recap about this whole thing. So I'm gonna take the two fishing poles. This is from the 360. Uh, just as you have noticed, I pointed you out that uh, this here, this here is a bigger, uh, in my opinion, it's a irregularity. Even that they claim me that all the fishing poles come like this. The thing is that this one here, you don't even have to move much to, uh, to have one open. So if you do this, it basically already opened itself. It, this thing here, this chip, it just falls out basically. One more time I have to do it. Okay, so we have this basically opening itself as soon as you... As soon as you do this, it already goes out. Something I have discussed with the manufacturer, uh, watch out what I'm talking about right now. Something I have discussed with a Chinese manufacturer who assured me that in fact, first it was Berger, it was Berger Alish who did this stuff, talked to me about this stuff. Uh, he was the one into it. But he assured me that there's actually nothing wrong with this, that this is just the way they do it. I don't know what kind of manufacturer this guy is. Now, I don't in particular have a good opinion about this guy. Uh, because he did have me at a Chinese postal services, packaging department and all this in the factory. Uh, this is really nice. But the thing about it is, it's not really nice. Because if I would say, do you understand the issues I'm discussing right now? mean they video recorded themselves and in China and here in Slovenia and so on and are comparing this information to voice the legitimacy about me. Yes, this is a very actually very hardcore crime uh, because they're using this kind of issues. To, to, it, it will be enough that, that, that some of it I would not recall or state or even say and they could go and argue about certain issues, about what I said, about the whole fucking thing. But this is more than crime. This is not a regular crime. This is a very, very serious crime. It might look innocent, but this is very, very not innocent. Because behind these issues is a whole industry for every issue that I purchase from AliExpress, from eBay, and so on. Something I did not pay attention to from the beginning because it would sound even insane, but that didn't mean that there was not stuff that took place behind it all, because it did for every issue. So, for this issue, I was told in China already that this is, a, this is the way it is. Uh, Alish Berger was the one who inflated this into conspiracy theory and stated that, which is not necessary, that that's not the case that this is the way it's going to be when I'm going to get, yeah. So this is a 360 fishing pole, and this is the first issue we're going to discuss. I have to do the whole review. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to extend the whole thing, take the microscope, and we're going to go and see the issues for which Slovenian police believe are going to be using this as a proof. I already explained what kind of proof. I wanted to prove something is wrong with me.
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a benefit of the doubt in my own way. So this is a 360 fishing pole, 3 meters 60 is what this is. Because I have this problem I mentioned earlier, I will use extra power bank to release the battery, just as I was told by the police. Literally, the way I was told by the police, that uh, recording, however, is not interrupted. I was not told about that stuff, that if you put this on a pause button, that in fact, uh, that you can use uh, recording, but I was told by the police investigators that if you, if you don't, um, if you use a power bank, they told me, if you use the power bank, then the battery does not overheat. So let's go. I'm going to use this stuff here, and I'm also going to use microscope they also bragged to me about something about uh, the end of this year that there is something but this is the first time i have this kind of fishing pole in my lifetime i never had any carbon fishing rod i never had any carbon fishing pole that's one thing i have to say to you and another thing is hey maybe this is gonna be better um, they, they talked to me about it. This is a big, big problem here in the end. But I, I don't really know what the problem would be because I never, I never, with a blank fishing pole, I never was doing any kind of stuff. So this is a 360. The first thing we're going to review. I'm going to do the recap of what I learned about the 360. The 360. As I remember, because it says beginner, and it was Berger Alish who stated to me, he will advertise to me also this fishing pole is a very good fishing pole, very cheap and so on and so forth. And I was not excited about it because simply the fishing pole, when it was tested, it was just, uh, I prefer like a fishing pole with a harder, um, not with a harder, but more with, uh, mixed with a fiberglass, obviously. Uh, that will be more uh, durable. In other words, that give me more strength to pull the fish out of the uh, out of the water. But I think this this is very good. I like it. I need this stuff. I really need this stuff. Sometimes I'm a moody person. Sometimes I feel like I want to do a very 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 fine fishing, and sometimes I want to be a little bit maybe rougher. I don't know. It's always time to buy different fishing pole. They were very very cheap. This one here was like five dollars and the other one you're gonna see it's four meter fifty long it was just six dollars something like this um this here is where the paranoia started for this stuff here they demanded uh, robert golop slovenian prime minister robert golop uh, burgers Alish Berger demanded from me to see this as a very serious factory problem that this is if I have seen how the uh, fishing poles are made it is something I have very much disregarded and uh, as a result of my disregarding this I got already upset angry with me during MK Ultra. Uh, Robert Gulot claimed me that I don't know anything about the fucking uh, carbon fishing poles, uh, how they are made and this and that and so on and so forth. Yeah, so uh, what, what my opinion about this stuff is, this is a normal thing. This is just uh, maybe present uh, even in every uh, fishing pole out there. I don't know anything about that this would actually be like that this would be considered as a factory mistake uh the truth however is as i stated these are the first fishing poles i have in my life that are uh, as this is here 100 percent carbon carbon made yeah carbon in yugoslavia was considered as the most expensive fishing pole 
too damn expensive and not only in Yugoslavia everywhere that you could even purchase one afford yourself one uh, this type of novelties they were all coming from Germany and as you see this kind of stuff continues which is I think in my opinion this is a normal thing because this is how the carbon uh, fishing poles are made so at this point in time they expect that I'm going to go full paranoia uh, that this is a fishing pole that they, that they uh, uh, that this is going to break off because they did demonstrate me there was a whole paranoia behind it in paranoia they exercised uh, this part of the fishing pole would just come out and break off they were breaking the stuff inside of the factory inside of this Chinese factory they were breaking the stuff in front of me do you understand that stuff they were breaking the stuff in front of me so they anticipated that I will be crying about this stuff here that I will be crying about this stuff here and it was this kind of stuff here which is like a paint job yeah, I would have to go uh, in details about this stuff. Uh, the thing is, I have not found anything like this that I would be uh, alarmed. Um, this fishing pole was very, very, very criticized. It was heavily, heavily criticized by uh, MK Ultra participants. I don't know where these people were coming from. Were they from the U.S. or Asia or... Uh, I just remember it was all, all kinds of people and girls and all kinds of people was involved in it. And they lambasted, they cried about this stuff, uh, how this is going to break me and it's not going to last me and blah, 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 blah. Um, He checked this fishing pole, talking about the manufacturer, seller, whoever this guy was, and uh, stated me it's not in a, such a bad condition. And what I'm talking about specifically is what I'm going to demonstrate you next. What I'm going to demonstrate you is the next. Uh, and figure out that it was actually, that will last me for about uh, six months or one year, and that's going to yield me a lot of fish, and then I'm going to already have money to buy myself another one. So it was a total, total schizophrenia stuff. Um, who these people were that gave their opinions about how this is going to break me and how they're fucking me and this and that. This uh, paranoia criminals, insiders, like I stated, I don't know where they were from. Uh, it was also girls that were involved in it. It was plenty of criminals involved in it uh, who demanded for me to accept them as um, there's all kinds of issues as, 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 uh, as somebody who would resolve my case as somebody who uh, even as a wife etc 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 total lunacy and for not doing that kind of stuff uh, it was, uh, they were incited, literally incited, encouraged in a schizophrenia, which then later they portrayed in a form of retaliation against me. This is the way this scam works. It is not for the sensitive people. That's all I got to say. 360, uh, I am going to be checking, well, I have to explain. I am going to be checking this. Um, parts of the fishing rod, the final parts. This is what they believe they're going to score uh, a proof for the schizophrenia in me. So that's what I'm going to be checking with you. Uh, they did warn me about, he warned me about uh, manufacturer shit it. That's what I call shit it. Dreco, Drekar. A Chinese manufacturer talks shit about that the damage you're about to see is only on the surface and it's not outside. It's only a paint job that's a little bit scratched, that kind of stuff. And it's not internally damaged, etc., etc., etc. While those voices, if you like, this is schizophrenic people hear voices in their heads. 
Uh, it's disgrace. Truly is a disgrace that nobody so far um, regulated anywhere in a penalty code bestiality known as MK Ultra. Nobody so far did. I understand Donald Trump bragged to me about this is not even regulated and nobody can be punished for it and stuff like that. Yeah, it is regulated under the individual criminal code. It's, for me personally, even better because the punishment is bigger, is of a greater. It's worse. Each counts separately. So let's go uh, using microscope with a telephone that actually does a really good job at recording, but with a battery, just as police anticipated, uh, indicated me yesterday for the first time that it did overheat it and I had to turn off the, even the phone. So do you see this scratches here with a microscope? You can see that. This is the stuff for which they insisted me. It starts with a crack. And they demonstrated me through MK Ultra this sickening stuff. And what's going to happen is it will open, and the fishing pole eventually will crack. It will crack. It will crack. Um, I'm actually doing this in the wrong way. I am going to put the fishing pole together. So I already inspected it. To me, it looks okay. Uh, to me, it doesn't look the damage would be to the such a degree that would uh, simply break off. Um, understand that we have a neighbors here that can prove you wrong at uh, anything you say at about any time of the day. Walking inside of the house or mother taking this to the neighbors so they can take care of this. Right? Uh, so stuff I'm saying right now I'm just saying it based on observation based on what you're about to see this is the biggest the largest hole that you through which you pull this um, and so the most important here is to do what I'm doing right now that's basically a fee per sec. I don't know how you say this in properly in in English language, but it's a uh, you know the cut. You, I am observing now. I'm gonna turn the light on. That is actually trouble for the phone. Okay, that's going to do it, definitely. And now we're going to go. Off we go. I did not observe anything that would be... There's another thing that I have to take here. It's for basically for me to see good enough stuff I'm doing now the battery is suffering but I have no choice so this is the stuff that you would be watching this is like the most important stuff so now if you see from inside some kind of damage and stuff like that that would really be very very important to note at this point in time I must say to this I don't see any I am not capable to record any kind of damage here that I would say, oh, well, uh, this would cause a breakage of the, of, the, of the rod, of this blank rods. And this part here, I don't see anything. This is the most sensitive part. But when you look uh, cosmetically from the outside, uh, yeah, it does look uh, kind of, uh, I don't know. It's my first one. I don't know what to think about it. To me, it looks normal. To me, this is. To me, this stuff doesn't look anything catastrophical. It doesn't look anything catastrophical. This stuff to me, it looks like something, like a regular fishing pole. 
Uh, here is a little bit scratched up and cosmetically stuff done. Um, I don't know how much of a damage this stuff is. Uh, they dreamed about how these micro cracks, what it will do is they will cause you the whole uh, fishing rod to collapse and so on. But like I said, uh, in my opinion, it was a police that was searching for proofs. They were certain at one point in time they will be capable to prove either the future crime I was already charged with in 2012 when they threw me in a psychiatric hospital. I was charged with a good number of crimes. Attempt to exterminate Slovenian people. Uh, attempt to exterminate Roma and Slovenian people. Attempt to exterminate Jewish, Slovenian and Roma people. Uh, siding with the Norwegian uh, mass killer Anders Breivik being a big supporter obviously that I am the person who made a big big difference in life of Anders Breivik according to the Slovenian side I did uh, this is the second part and then, of course, with the domestic violence for attacking my mother, my father, my sister, uh, attacking them, neighbors also, psychologically, mentally. The external part that you see doesn't even have any kind of scratch, anything. You see that stuff. To me, just like the part number one, this is completely okay, legitimate. Can survive, I can deal with it. They did put attention also to the what you see right there that does uh, appears like it's not even and so on. Uh, and started to tutor me. When am I supposed to put the... And when you're not supposed to place, install the a rod tip or I should say a guide there you have something cosmetically done right there uh, now the important part this is what a Robert Golop scientist insisted Aka scientist They wanted to absolutely, when I hear the dog, when you hear this dog, th this dog was translated as a positive thing. They wanted to kill absolutely everything positive about life. Every voice, every noise surrounded. Uh, they wanted to turn that in damage, basically. Absolutely everything. Everything you see, everything you hear. They wanted to have a complete control over brain. And so they could twist that in the direction they wanted. That's why I stated Slovenia is a very dangerous country. Stuff I did not watch for, and I'm watching right now, is actually whether I would find at the end of this rod uh, something that would suggest me like any kind of uh, not only uneven surface, but uh, you know, like a crack or something like that, in that sense. Yeah? That would be the stuff to be worried about. But I don't see anything. I see everything is okay. This is the third one I'm doing. If we go this way first. It 
looks completely legitimate to me. I have no objections toward this. I can do some finger touching at the end to see what if it if it feels smooth. See, this is the stuff I'm doing to make sure that it's not cracked or something like that. You go like this with the tip of your finger, you circle, and you try to feel if something is. Uh, it looks completely legitimate to me. However, I think it's on this one here that the externally they scratch the paint and did so quite, quite a lot. I think it's on this one here to degree that they insisted me, oh, this is where it's going to break you off. I think that this one was the obsession about how it's going to break me and so on. They were breaking fishing rods in front of me. Uh, they were pulling, literally. They literally were pulling fishing poles out of the uh, rods, out of the rods, because this is telescopic. That kind of stuff they were doing. Mm, it looks like it's not on this one here. We are still good. Okay, so this was... One, two. This was the third one from what I know. Yeah, this is the third one. Uh, let me see this here. And, uh, Anna, Dva, and this is now I'm going to do the fourth one. I'm going to review the fourth one. We'll go like this. First, we're going to do the. Ay, 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 ay. The external side is like this. Yeah, the further it gets toward uh, the the tinier, the tinier, the tinier it gets. Uh, of course, the more sensitive it is. Yeah, that's a normal thing. That's a totally normal thing. Uh, yeah, it makes me feel that on one side is thicker than on the other, and I'm not even confused about that. So yes, I am going to go a little bit over how to properly install and which side to properly install. On the internal side, it looks to me completely normal. This is just the carbon technique of uh, rod manufacturing that requires one to go through exactly what you have seen. It's a normal thing. Some carbon fabric right there. The edges were also of their interest. They also cried about that stuff. Yeah, it's, it is kind of uneven, that's true. But that's probably the way this stuff is done. It's a normal thing. Uh, this stuff here that you see right there, however, let me make sure so that I would not skip. Now, I don't see anything abnormal here. To me, it all looks good. Uh, next one, which is this one here. We're going to do the internal part first. I have not seen anything abnormal. I have not seen anything that would uh, excite me, that would be. Um, they cry to me because some fishing poles cost a lot of money. Uh, it's the fishing poles, they cry to me. 
fucking asshole Slovenian fucking scum of the earth cried to me about paying for the fishing poles 150 and 200 euros and why I have to watch these things and this and that because the next time you go fishing in a half an hour you can break off and you throw away 150 200 euros that's why I say it's a fucking scum it's not people I don't know how you dare to cry to somebody like this about issues like this but okay Uh, this here, cosmetically, you see this? I acknowledge this like a, rather like a cosmetical, uh, deliberate knifing. This is not the way it's factory or anything like this. This is just deliberate knifing. Uh, it might even require for me to replace, uh, you know, I don't know what the future might hold in it. Yeah, what I don't like especially is the edge. You see the edge of the of the blank is uh, strange. It's a little bit uh, really scratched off and so on. But I do not deem that this would be critical for this fishing rod enough so that I would uh, request a money return, refund, etc, etc. So, yeah. You can see it right there. Still, I don't think it's critical enough, and it was a manufacturer from the fishing poles who inspected it and stated me, the Chinese guy, that it's not critical to the degree that would not, that would have this kind of stuff, even if it would be manufacturing, uh, refunded, returned back to the manufacturing. This is absolutely the stuff I'm demonstrating you. It's absolutely the stuff I was demonstrated during MK Ultra. Um, next one, you have seen the stuff that I have seen. You must agree that somebody would demonstrate the stuff like this during MK Ultra. You, under no circumstances, would mistaken. Uh, the issue with, you know, in other words, what I'm trying to say is uh, this is not the stuff that would be in your head only. So this is now a really, 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 uh, before the end, the same kind of scratch, the same kind of damage. I also have a knowledge other as cosmetical. Uh, out of precaution. Out of precaution, I'm going to take a super glue and the area that you see right there, uh, I will drip with a super glue on a surface just enough so that I cover the surface enough to protect one from external factors. It is exactly the same type of technique I will use also on a ceramic uh, ring. I will not request the money back for the stuff. Uh, I um, This is not what it's supposed to be. This is definitely the piece that was involved in MKUltra. Um, and so I'm out of warranty. I'm out of... Uh, I'm out of... Uh, you know, any kind of... Uh, Nobody give a fuck about me when it comes to this stuff. And so I have to protect myself and make the best out of it. But this is basically what you have seen was like this. Both of this when I already unpackaged the whole thing. And now I'm actually doing this with a microscope. Something I should have done immediately when I unpackaged. I did not expect stuff like that. Okay, and the final piece. The final piece is this here. 
I don't care about any ladies that might have been in Zawadir. These ladies were rather rapists, if you ask me, because uh, they insisted on something through the really uh, ways. They had absolutely no right uh, to drug up the person and demand from one uh, financial uh, as well as um, marital rewards and stuff like that. This is, this is completely inhumane. It's totally bestial. Uh, you don't do this stuff like this. Uh, extort through the use of the genocide, a friendship. This is just a bad way. You want to do it that way. Uh, you can try that with somebody else. Here, you have never made it. I am going to firmly stand against this type of crime and advise this, everybody to do exactly the same. To me, this stuff here, I don't see anything that would alert me, anything that would be uh, of concern to me. It looks rather okay to me. And I really don't know what they dreamed about uh, the tip. They, they dreamed about the tip where this thing is attached and so on. And they were totally disturbed because I didn't put any attention to it. Uh, you see, I never had intention to go fishing with just a line uh, tied to the end of the uh, fishing tip. And this is what was, uh, it fucked them. Basically, they were all disturbed. When I, whenever I would not pay attention to their problems, they, were, they, were all, they all had a problems. Uh, this stuff is going to fall off and this and that. Well, the thing is, I don't even fish with this stuff. What I do is... That's why I purchased those uh, fishing guides and stuff. Uh, obviously, what I do is I just... This was a big deal for the girls. Uh, we call this a girl power, but I'm going to say to you that you're insane. If you see yourself in a stuff like this, you're not 100% in your head. You're sick. Um, this was the review of 360 in a nutshell. Um, I did spoke to you about the knife. Did spoke to you about the knifing they did again on uh, the truth is this is so cheap and uh, for so little money. I'm pretty sure it's going to do me well that I, I really, it's almost illegal to cry about. But this is, this is not what I'm doing. I'm not trying to cry about this stuff. I am basically just doing my job. From this side it is. You, you can see here how it is or chopped. And I'm going to put the microscope so you can see from up closer. Um, you're not supposed to be like that. Why am I doing this stuff? I'm doing this stuff because to protect myself from the police for one thing. Uh, not really anymore. But if I did this stuff uh, earlier, it would be it would do good to me. Yeah, they they claim that everything they destroyed or had arrived already destroyed to me. I was the one who did it. Hell, shit! You cannot see this quite clearly here. Let me see if I can fix the... This is going to be of any help. All right, I, I am going to do it like halfway like this, but we have more light. So I think I need more light here to prove the point. And I don't think it's going to do it. This this is really black. Uh, probably I, I would need another telephone, something. To, to brighten this enough so that you could see this. No, actually, it's going to do it, I think. If 
you know, this is this is better without a microscope. You know, it's, you, you don't like this. You it's got to be like from the side or something like that. I don't know, but it, you, you can't see this damn thing. Eh? You just I don't see it satisfactory enough. Um, it's cut, all right. It's it's cut. And uh, it's very difficult because it's it's um, very difficult to find uh, uh, because I'm complicating it. Okay, now I see. Now now I see it. Okay, there's obvious that stuff obviously is cut. You can see it. It's cut. Here you can obviously see. There are two tips, I think glasses, to use to point out this stuff here. This here, this is one tip, and then there is another tip. This is because it's cut. Okay, this, this stuff is not doing very good, so I'm going to move on, do other stuff. This is not so essential, and it's just a cosmetic stuff, but uh, whatever is this uh, thread involved in it, it's always a knife, basically. Always is a fucking knife, everything. Addicted to the knifing things. All my telephone pouches, everything was fucked up with a knife, basically. Everything always is a knife. You cannot see what I see here with a bare eye, but it's knifed. It really is knifed on both sides. Yeah, if you pull this shit, it's going to fall apart, just like uh, Alish Berger told me. If you're not going to immediately saw this thing, it's just going to fall apart. Here. This one is already coming out. You know, it won't allow me to. Actually, look, it's, it's all fucked up. Look at that. Hey, this is going to fall apart anyways. Look at it. I can pull like this, but you you cannot record this stuff. It's very difficult to record. Okay, I think I found a way. I think I'm gonna do it like this. It's worth it. This this shit is worth it. All right. So this is not okay, is it? See what I'm saying? And you see another thread here underneath? Look at it. Look at this one. Eh? Look at it. That one is almost ready to come out. Right here, look. It's going this way. It's going, it's going, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's broken, actually. That's cut. And it's just about to... It's just about to go out on the other side. We're just about to, to fall apart, this stuff. Uh, if you want to keep it, yeah, that's what it was. Uh, I think I am going to do my best to keep this. A burger has a good number of this at home. And he told me he's going to give me his. So whatever it is, he did have this kind of fishing pole. I'm going to repeat to you. Because why? Because it said here, beginner. It said beginner. And I was... I said, it's a beginner. And he said, yeah, but it's not so beginner, he said. It's pretty good fishing pole. I remember also this sticker they demonstrated to me stickers and blah 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 and so on 450 we're gonna do the 450 okay 
The worst part maybe is this here. I don't have to explain to you why. You can see it probably. They did extensive work on this one. You can see it, right? A lot of knife work, busy with the knives. This is the end when it comes to reviewing for this stuff. Of course, it's more. But if I'm going to be doing this stuff, uh, eventually the telephone might go bad or whatever. Now I really have a chance to video record the whole fucking thing which would be nice to do this as a recap. Hey, do you see this here? This is going to all fall apart at any time. So I have to hurry up and go with a, with a thread and take care of this stuff. The most excited, more even than breaking the fishing rod, more excited than breaking the fishing rod, was Sir Robert Golop was more excited about breaking the fishing rod, about uh, destroying with ability to destroy the uh, the reels, and this is what they were addicted to. And this shit started since I was a child. They play with the uh, with the parts inside of the fishing reel. Uh, I never bothered to even go and open the fishing reel and go inside, and they demanded from me to do this. They call this like a maintenance and so on. I don't know. The uh, King Charles, now it's a King Charles. Prince Charles was the one who went on and opened uh, uh, my trimming machine, hair trimming machine, and demanded from the police to staff the hair trimming machine with uh, hair and all kinds of stuff. And the police did go extra and use the oil, which is otherwise used to to oil the trimming machine and have wasted me all the oil. They did this on three machines. They always damaged. Never, I never caused damage, even by what people will say, they have to go and maintain the stuff. I just used the stuff and it worked fine. The only time I had to go and maintain the stuff is when the, after MK Ultra, they told me, they're going to do the stuff, and it was impossible to use one. And that's when I went and I took care of the problem. But to me, the machines, everything, they always last forever. It's easy to use and useful, and it doesn't stop work. But the beasts made sure that they would fuck me up absolutely everything around me. Absolutely everything. Everything to them that worked was disturbing. The eyeglasses which I have purchased in the Poland, this is what is really shit, the whole thing, about this fucking Poland. Brand new one I got it from China, I purchased, paid. Do you know that within one week or two, I found myself in Slovenia in the house with the police and criminals from the Slovenian internal affairs inspecting the glasses and suggested me they see nothing wrong with the glasses except that I have to watch for this stuff here that this is the stuff that likes to go bad they have found this already on other people's uh, glasses and it's the stuff that really likes to go bad And then what they did was they proceeded, stated me, they haven't found anything bad in the glasses. The only thing to remind me that, the gla that we were here and we reviewed the glasses is they took this, I don't know how you call these beds here, this, and they turned them around and they twisted them back on the glasses. Can you, do you remember how, how much damage they cost me? to the glasses I had that I was not even capable to use them, that I could not see through them. This is this fucking Poland where I fight for the political asylum. This is how it went. And I didn't have a glasses so I could go and work literally in the local factory. 
I was working half blind. So the same thing with this stuff here. The same thing. And I already did explain the issues behind that. You see that this already falls out as soon as you turn around. Something I had discussion with the Chinese manufacturer about. Oh, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is, is do this and it pushes out the whole thing. You see? Um, let's do the review of this is 450. Just like this. The same type of fishing rod, also 100% carbon. Take this off. A cover. And we're going to start off here. And I'm going to try the surface to see if the surface is smooth. They were teaching me about this stuff. Uh, it didn't come to me, this stuff. And honestly, um, they told me that this is what you're supposed to do and so on and so forth. Honestly, I, I had no idea the world is so rotten. I never had a, such a bad opinion about the world, but this scum uh, is just unprecedented uh, that we have a shit like this in a form of human beings in this country in this world is disturbing uh, usually manufacturers make sure bloody damn sure that you get the quality you know what i mean they even say but the sellers do not yeah that's true but i'm not here to correct the whole fucking world the police does opposite contrary to it. Why the fuck would I go and catch people without being even paid dime for it? That's exactly why. So the one who does it, who is it? To me, this one also looks legitimate. I don't see any kind of any kind of stuff on it. Okay. So oh, this looks legitimate. I don't see anything, any kind of stuff. Go here. Um, if I don't see it like this with a, with a bare eye, there's no need for me to use any kind of microscope. This is a much, much faster reviewing against some cosmetical shit, but this is not a, this is not a player. This is not a thing. I'm going to review cosmetical overall uh, status, just like I did for the other one at the end of this. This is not a decisive factor, so we're not going to concern about that.
to me completely legitimate. I don't see anything. I don't even see anything that would give me any kind of question further the issue. So the police obviously is searching, they're in search of finding something. Uh, obviously they believe they're going to get a good number of proofs from the videos I record and, and that present to the world as a, whatever they wanted to present this. That's how they hoped for, they will deal with me. People were frequently sure, they were frequently certain I'm never going to get back on the picture, MK Ultra picture. But they were always disappointed. And they got additional ability to cause more harm, more crime. In the end, they got fucked over, many of them, numerous of them. Uh, and even compelled to file for death certificates, fake death certificates. What a shit. What a way to go. We're going to analyze this heroes that was so brave during MKUltra. It's going to come time, you scum. We're going to talk about you. How courageously you disappeared. Yeah, this is all this stuff is just really cosmetic. I, I don't see anything. And for this fishing pole, anyways, I was told this is not going to be a problematic at all. They do that, I would order two of them. I see some cosmetic stuff, but this is, this is uh, from what I see here, this I would even say this is a normal manufacturing, totally normal manufacturing issues. They were making a paranoia out of all these issues. This at the end of the tip, the way it scratched this stuff, they were crazy about this stuff. They were totally crazy about this stuff. They, they, this, is, this is what it cracks, this is what it cracks, and so on. You're going to see, it's going to crack, and so on. It, it didn't stop there. If you're going to talk bad about us, and then we're going to go, we, the neighbors, we will go, and then we will destroy you, we will crack you, the fishing rod. We will do this to you and so on. I don't doubt. I have fishing poles, many fishing poles, they break me. They break me fishing guides, they break me fishing rods. They did enter my room. They demonstrated me. I was present when they break the fishing poles. So they are good at one thing. They will do that. They know how to do it. I'm just trying to feel the tip of this rod. It looks to me legitimate, everything. Take the next one. Cosmetic stuff, light cosmetic stuff, I would even say.
light cosmetic stuff with final tip. Uh, it's not a tip. This is still the rod. This is still the bank rod. Yeah, it's true. Uh, uh, it, all this stuff, all this stuff, all this stuff, these holes that you see right there. You see, I'm using my microscope. Police used microscope during MK Ultra all the fucking time. And so did Berger Alish. He also did. They also did it. Uh, to me, it looks completely normal, completely legitimate. Everything looks fine. And so, oh, this this part here. This is probably what these girls were so excited about. Yeah, that's really, really uh, the stuff they talked about. This kind of stuff here. Uh, girls love to complain about how this thing have fallen down to them. That it was this kind of stuff that was falling down to them. And they all yelled and screamed how the fishing pole broke them and so on. I think they were doing this stuff deliberately to them. To drive them crazy. Uh, um, it's a scum. It's not girls. It's a scum. It's a filth. Sorry guys. You're filth. You're not, you're not girls. I would not go fishing with any one of you. But I would watch you hang from the tree. That's one thing I would do. Sorry, you're not people for me, if you ask me. I hope I would never come across any one of you, scum. Um, this kind of stuff here that you see, this, the, the stuff that I demonstrated you, semi-demonstrated you, uh, this is the same thing, I'm going to do the same thing, identical stuff I'm going to do, this with the, you see this ceramic ring with this hole right there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and I'm going to use a needle, uh, I'm going to place at the top of the needle uh, like, a, like a drop of the super glue. Like a super, super tiny drop of the super glue. And I'm going to drip one right in that hole right there without, um, how can I say, without, uh, without, um, spreading one anywhere or even trying to make one even with the rest of the surface that's all i'm gonna do and i will do this so it will hold the whole thing together and we'll feel that crack that hole uh, and um, that's all i'm gonna do and the same thing i'm gonna do here in the back when you see this stuff here just so if there is like a salty water that comes in there, it's not going to cause, uh, you know, arrest. That's all. Yeah, these are really good. Really, really cheap. So cheap, so good. $2. Uh, I don't know how much. One eighty or whatever. Uh, eight pieces. Oh, so damn cheap. So good stuff. Such a quality stuff. You know, um, breaded line, mono line, whatever it is that you use, they are not they are not forever. You know, you eventually, uh, eventually, you do at one point in time, you do have to replace your fishing line, uh, and this this is just this is gonna do the job perfectly fine. I am not gonna comment other. Uh, 
uh, other stuff I got because I, you can watch the videos and see that stuff to me it's all good I'm happy to me it works to me it's all good uh, the only thing I have not done is uh, there are two things one thing is I did not pull uh, I just want to see if there's like a cosmetical stuff that is that is also that also applies to yeah it also applies this stuff, also cosmetical stuff. So you you see what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, this is what they they were crazy about. This kind of issues. And uh, there might be a point. There might be a point about this here that ca that causes a crack of the fishing rod. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. I suggest Robert Golop to start to manufacture the fishing poles, so that uh, you know, so that he could um, he could have uh, one thing I have not done, and I was told that I should do is uh, clean the fishing poles on the inside yeah if you remember when i opened them and it was full of dust and stuff like this that stuff was done deliberately they told me if you will not do this you will already destroy the fishing pole uh, this is definitely uh, from mk ultra stuff including the dust the dust was involved in it too this is glad I am. I have mentioned that kind of stuff. They were reviewing their fishing poles. Whenever they got the fishing poles, they were reviewing the fishing poles. I'm surprised because I, re I remember all these people, these politicians and neighbors, how they were desperately trying to jump in the pants of these girls from abroad. Uh, and uh, they did jump into the pants of these hookers from abroad. The thing about it is that none of these great guys ever married a single one of them. They were all so good, they were all so great, they were all such a fun, they were all such a nice people. Uh, how come that none of them ever worked out for any of them, the meetings they had, this interaction they had with one another? Were, everyone was so much better than I was, they were all so good. Ah, yay, fuck this. For me, the stuff I have seen in front of me, I have a knowledge is a disease. And when I say I acknowledge is a disease, I literally acknowledge people as a disease. I don't like any of these fuckers because I had no reason to like them. This is not how you meet people. This is not how the decent people meet decent people. And it shall stay that way. I only wish I knew this already earlier. I'm going to close this down. And the second thing I have not reviewed is this stuff here to the full potential. I did in the in the part number one already that it was good enough, it was satisfactory enough. Makes no fucking sense. It it's done already. So this was it. This was a review in the fishing guides and fishing rods. Now I'm gonna install this babes on it. Uh, at my convenience, uh, I told you about the local fishing association that was making big plans how they're gonna confiscate me the fishing poles etc 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 i would not go and pay scum here 300 euros to go fishing in front of the house i would never do this uh, the scum needs to pay for the damage they caused 
then we're going to think about the license fees and other stuff. I understand in Italy the fishing is totally for free, 100% free. You don't have to pay a dime. In Slovenia, if you are a fishing member of the fishing association, Slovenian fishermen, you can go and you can purchase yourself a sea license for seven euros per day. So you can fish on the sea for seven euros per day, etc., etc., etc. And you do have a 20 kilometers of the fishing where you can go and fish from the shore uh, in Adriatic Sea. And uh, you're going to need a lot of luck, so I'm going to say good luck to you if you're going to do that to catch a fish about this size, I think. Uh, that was a reviewing of this stuff. Thanks for watching this. Have a great day. No, it did not overheat it itself. And it's the pause button whenever you are recording, whenever you are doing a long videos, you should never use.